Hi everyone, this is Ting, a physical therapist with Physical Therapy and Balance Centers. And uh, what I want to talk about today is BPPD, or otherwise known as the crystals in the inner ear that creates dizziness. And I just want to give a word of warning about uh, people who may have BPPD and are thinking about self-treating uh, with the Epley Maneuver, that it might not always be the best idea to do the Epley Maneuver, because if it is um, <clears throat> done wrong, or if it's done for the wrong uh, canal that the BPPV may be in, um, it might create more problems than it might solve. And I just want to highlight a, a case or a, a patient that we had just done treating today. Um, with BPPV, she came in with sudden dizziness over the weekend, and um, when we did the Dix Hole Pipe test, which is the, the test for the posterior canal, the one that you do the Epley maneuver with, um, it came back as positive, but when we looked at her eyes, her eyes or the nystagmus that was happening was beating sideways. Um, classically with uh, the positive Dick's hole pipe, the eyes would beat up and twist. So knowing that was not happening, uh, we knew that the BPPV was not in the posterior canal, but was actually in the horizontal canal. So after further testing, we found out that um, not only was it in the horizontal canal, but it was stuck on the end of the canal or a condition that we call cupulolithiasis, which is a little bit more complicated. So if this particular person had done the Epley maneuver, it probably would not have helped, I know it, it probably it would not have helped, and it probably would have just put her through more dizziness, um, which she was having a lot of troubles with. So the maneuver that we actually did was called the um, Venucci Asparella maneuver, which is a big word. Um, and what that entails is it actually we actually had to get the, the crystals off where it was stuck and then migrate it to a different part of the canal and at that point we could do the, the, the Gaffoni maneuver which is the second aspect of the Venucci Asparella maneuver. So unless you know where the crystals are, you might actually do yourself more harm by doing the upper maneuver. And um, we the important part of doing the, the Dick's Hole Pike or the roll tests is to look at the nystagmus or which way the eyes are beating. Because when you know the anatomy of the canals and you know which way the eyes are supposed to beat, it'll tell you exactly where the, the, the crystals are and it'll tell you the types of maneuvers that you should be doing to get it out of there. Um, the Epley maneuver is one, the Gnophoni maneuver is another, Appiani maneuver is another, Cassani maneuver is another, so there's a bunch of them and uh, knowing which one to do can really be key to getting rid of the BPPV. So if you're not sure and you have BPPV, make sure you consult with a specialist before you go try to do the Epley maneuver on your own because you might actually make it worse.